Hey guys, we got another battle here. This was the Instucker for Jessica. Um, I saw him on Poke Ladder and he was asking, or I asked for a mixed battle and uh, he said he wanted one. So, um, yeah, let's get started here. So, I lead off with Ryu and he leads off with Echo Pwns, which is an Ambi Pwn. And I know he's going to go for the Fake Out, so I switch out to A tier to take the Fake Out like a beast. And he does take it like a beast. So, I go for the T Bolt here because I was thinking it'd do more than how much it did here, but it really did like pretty much nothing well I did half but that's not really that good and I didn't know what he was gonna do so yeah that's why I didn't switch out and he goes for the U-turn which does really nothing to me so he goes into rollout and um, I'm locked in at Thunderbolt so yeah I have to switch out and I go into my Dawn Pan and uh, he sets rocks up and um, yeah he switches out now to his Ganondorf which is his Shippery and I set up my rocks too so we both got our rocks up and uh, looking like a pretty uh, even game right now so I switch into uh, slow king now because I'm not sure what this thing could do and I'm, I'm kind of scared that he was gonna go for the like leaf storm or something I know that him can at least take one of those so he goes with a sunny day and I think he's gonna I thought he was gonna use a uh, solar beam here but he doesn't he goes for the dark pulse which kind of surprised me but in the end of the match he told me that he didn't have solar beam on this thing or leaf storm so that's really good for me so I go for the slack off here just to you know check what he was gonna do and he does go for that Dark Pulse, which is good for me. Because it doesn't, you know, kill me or anything. It doesn't even get me close to killing. But it will be a two-hit KO, so that's why I had to do that. But then he explodes. And I'm like, what the fuck? I did not expect an explosion for a fucking Shivery. <laughs> I barely ever faced a Shivery before. So I was really surprised that he had an explosion on this thing. So that kind of sucks. My pimp goes down. Um, so... Yeah, but his Ganondorf goes down too, which that kind of opposes a threat to me at least. So now he goes into his Integrate, which is his Heatran, and I switch into my Dawn Fan here. And, um, he goes with a Solar Beam here, and I really was not expecting a Solar Beam from a Heatran. And I thought I'd maybe at least live it since it's not really stab or anything, but, uh, yeah, it fucking destroys my uh, Dawn Fan, which kind of sucks, but oh well. So, yeah, I lose my Dawn Fan. I was gonna, you know, get rocks away because I really do not freaking want rocks up because I have two uh, flying types uh, so I switch into my blade here and I go for the superpower and um, I don't know I guess he wasn't expecting it or he didn't think I was gonna go for it like straight away but um, superpower doesn't kill here which kind of surprised me but he told me it was like bulky so yeah uh, he goes for the earth power and I thought this would kill because freaking Absol has the worst freaking special defense in the world. Well, not the worst, but he has bad special defense. So, um, yeah, after he told me that this isn't an attack or anything, so I guess that's why I didn't kill. And I go for the super power again, and I kill off the Heatran, which is really awesome for me. And now he goes into his black belt, which is his Zapdos. And I'm locked into uh, super power, so I have to switch out. And I go into aids here because um, I... I pretty much was going to it to, I guess, Death Fodder, but I thought I could maybe live at least one Thunderbolt, and I would have gotten an explosion off. That would have been awesome if I got the explosion off, but I didn't, so that really sucked. So now I go into my blade here to go for the Night Slash, and he's smart, and he switches out of his, uh, what's it called, to uh, his uh, rollout, which is Dawnfan, and Dawnfan takes his fucking Night Slash like a beast, because Dawnfan is just a monster. And, uh, yeah, he doesn't even do over half, which really kind of sucks for me. So I go for another Night Slash here. I was hoping to get a crit on either of them, but I don't get the crit on either of them. So uh, he goes to the Sunny Day, in which I was like really, really surprised. But yeah, he gets some leftovers, and uh, now he goes with Ice Shard, since you know it's priority and it was going to kill me no matter what. And that really sucks for me because now I lose my blade. I was hoping I could get another Night Slash off and maybe get a crit, and maybe that would have killed. I'm not sure though. It probably wouldn't have, but. Maybe. You never know. So, um, yeah. The sunlight's still going on. So I go into Ryu now because I know an overheat will fucking annihilate this thing because of the fact that the sun is up and overheat's just a powerful move overall. Uh, I was thinking of going for the hidden power grass, but I'm scarfed and after he goes to this ice shard, um, yeah, pretty much I can't switch back in here and I don't want to be scarfed into a freaking hidden power grass. So I go for the overheat and obviously this will kill because of the fact that it's fucking powerful as hell and sunny day so um yeah that's really good for me so now he switches out to his uh echo pones which is his ambipom 
And I luckily freaking lived this fucking fake out, which fucking was badass. So, yeah. I, he gets flinch on me, but obviously that doesn't matter because now I'm faster and I go for the overheat. And it will kill out this um, Ambipon because sun. And it's only like one stage below for a uh, special attack, so. That was really good. So now the sun fades, and that really sucks because now he brings out his black belt. And now overheat's not gonna do like crap. Like, it's not gonna do anything to this thing. So, yeah, I go for the overheat, and um, it doesn't even kill, which really sucks for me. Um, he goes for the T-Bolt, and uh, yeah, this will KO my Moltres, which is pretty gay, but oh well. Um, I wish the Sunny Day was up still, though. I would have killed him if it was. So I go into Tupac now because it's my last Pokemon, and uh, yeah. So I get to Intimidate off, which like matters not like it doesn't matter at all. He goes with a sunny day, pretty much that's all he could do because he's not gonna kill my Moltres because he doesn't have HP ice on that Moltres or Zapdos. He told me after, which really sucks for him. Um, so now he has one more Pokemon left, and um, it's a fucking Executor, which means he's faster than me. And a Solar Beam would have killed me, so he decides to go for the explosion, and uh, yeah, that ends a pretty epic match here. Pretty fun. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys later. And if you guys haven't checked Sucker for Jessica out, check him out definitely. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.